everybody hello um, it's been a while since I've made a video and uh, <laughs> um, let me just tell you why I've been away for so long I've actually been um, in and out of the hospital because um, lately um, uh, when I was previously hospitalized I think about two three months ago I was um, having a severe um, breathlessness and swelling and all that um, and I was actually having um, swelling in my lungs and uh, after that when I was discharged I was not aware <laughs> I was near end-stage renal failure so in the last few weeks I've actually been in of the hospital and doing a lot of tests and examinations and stuff um, in order to you know clarify what's the problem and the cause of my renal failure so yeah so that's why I've been away for quite a while and I've not really been watching a lot of videos and stuff I try I try to catch up but uh, yeah so just um, recently I'm um, just today I went out and uh, managed to get some stuff I went to Daiso I went to my scrapbook shop and uh, of course I have some purchases I got online as well and I'm gonna show them all here today uh, I might have showed some of them before previously with my Shab Shabby with the um, the other purchase sorry uh, <laughs> I can't remember my my other haul yeah the one I got um, from Jamie not too shabby shop yeah sorry yeah my I'm my brain just you know short circuited there for a while so um I'm gonna show you my haul today then uh, I'll probably be showing you um, some of the things I've been doing with the stuff I've got um, some projects in another video so I'm not sure if I showed this to you but um, I actually ordered this from Aliexpress um, online I never expected it to be so small <laughs> but uh, I, they have all this uh, wooden wood veneer cutouts and um, I don't really have a lot of this and I wanted to buy some for different occasions so I got some that are Christian theme this one is the cross then there is some um, Christmas trees there is a rocking chair, rocking horse, sorry. Then this one is a reindeer. So they're pretty small, they are about 2 cm, I think. Maybe 3 quarters of an inch or so. One, 3 quarters to, an, to 1 inch um, in size. Then this one, which is um, Jingle Bells. Uh, rabbits, this one perfect for Easter. I hope you can see that. Sorry about the focus. And um, some snowflakes. So that's Christmas theme. Butterflies. This one um, can be used for other occasions. Let's see. They came in a set. A These are eggs. <laughs> they, yeah, they are, they're actually egg shapes. So this is perfect for Easter as well. And little chicks. Also for Easter. But you can use them for other occasions. So um, I got this from AliExpress. Then uh, something else I got from AliExpress was moles. I'm not sure if I showed this to you. If I have, please skip through <laughs> the um, video. So I got this mole, which is the um, angel wing. I haven't tried it, but my niece has used it with a clay. Then I got this one, which is gemstones. Now I have um, the um, one that I bought from Pedico, which is also a gemstone mole, but this is um, slightly different in size. So let me just show you the pedicle one I have here. So I've been using UV resin, which is perfect for this moss. Now I tried it on this. Oh, it, it UV resin is supposed to be used in um, transparent moss or translucent moss like this, so that the ultraviolet rays can actually penetrate and um, harden your resin. Now if you use this kind of moss, if it's too deep, which is the the case for this one. This one, um, I tried my UV resin and you can see that I had some resin that refused to come out. It got stuck inside. Yeah, but um, I think in the shallower, um, the shallower uh, mold are fine because I tried the B and it was fine. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, where's my B? Oh, here it is. So this is my UV resin. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Let me see if I've got white paper I can use as the backdrop for this. 
sorry for shaking the camera but yeah so I made like with a little bit of glitter and some and transparent resin all, all the way so this is UV resin it's not as hard as um, normal resin it's a little bit flexible now this is not the hard one that I got recently if you check the uh, Pedico website or if you check Etsy there is a website there that there is this um, Hong Kong retailer that sells UV resin for a relatively affordable price so um, I mean it's like difficult for me to get um, other brands here so I, I try to source for them online so yeah usually when I got, get the uh, resin that I purchase it comes in this um, size which is the if I'm not 20 or 30 grams bottle yeah so um, it comes in this size it has to be in a black container like this otherwise it's UV resin you know like if the sun um, sun rays can penetrate to it it will harden so yeah so I got this um, and this was a really old bottle so uh, if you check out the Pedicles website or even um, uh, other UV resin res uh, retailers uh, they now have uh, three different hardnesses hardness sorry <laughs> They have the hard, which is really extremely hard, and when you knock it, you can actually hear it. They have the medium, which is slightly flexible, and they have one that they call the jelly bean hardness. So it's like jelly beans, yes. Um, so it depends on what you're making. For example, if you're making like jelly beans or gummy bears or stuff, you might use the softer resin. Um, and if you're making something that is uh, to be used for jewelry making or stuff, um, you can usually use the harder resin. So I did buy one bottle of the hard resin. I'm going to show that to you later. So yep, so I've been making um, UV resin with my moles, and so this is one of the moles that I got, gemstone. All right, then there were a few more. I have uh, snowflake. I haven't tried this out yet, but this is really really intricate, and I probably use have to use a toothpick to dribble along my <laughs> resin. Then I got this one, which is like a sewing theme with uh, dress form and handbags, you know, lady stuff and a doily this one is pretty shallow so I don't think this will have a problem in the um, in the UV lamp that I have so these are my moles then oh, one more I got this mole as well which is a frames mole wanted to try some more ornate frames and this is the hard resin that I got and it comes like that now this is the Partigo brand, so it tends to be more expensive. They actually have refills for this as well, uh, but they're a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the 25 gram bottle. You should be able to make quite quite a few stuff. I actually have got resin in um, normal resin, casting resin, but. Um, I don't intend to use that right now. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm trying to avoid the um, toxic fumes and stuff at, at this moment because of my renal failure. So, yeah, I'm still like, you know, in between regarding that. Um, in, in the middle of treatment <laughs> regarding that. I've not uh, gone for any dialysis yet. So, that's just one of my purchases. Then uh, I got my um, the stuff that I ordered from Not Too Shabby Shop, uh, not Not Too Shabby Art Attack, which is uh, Tracy Tracy Shop Chinatown Tracy. So let me just show you a couple of things that I got. Um, she had a sale going on, so I bought a couple of items from her, and one of them was this, which is the 3D diamond for waffle flower. Then I also got this, which is the um, Yoru Jam stamp set, which I love. I'm going to show you a project that I did with this, a very simple um, project that I wanted to make for my students. And uh, yeah, so anyway, in the meantime, I've actually stopped working for a while just to, um, you know, try and uh, rest up and all that because, um, yeah, my blood pressure is really high. I've got uh, really high creatinine and urea levels and all that. So 
if you want to know the signs and symptoms of um, real failure, please, you know, you can ask me. Because I, I totally had no idea what was happening to me until um, I finally found a really good doctor. So anyway, I bought this from her. It's called... I think it's called some tree bird thingy. <laughs> what a... Um, I don't know. Yeah, so it's like little, you know, the Twitter bird, yeah, in wood veneer type. So I got that. This was all on sale. I got this. I have the paper for this. The little meow paper. So I wanted the stamp set, which is so cute. One of my friends is having her birthday coming up in November, and I might make a project for using this and um, some do, the, the do craft papers that I have, my little meows. Yeah. So I got this as well. I've got the Balasima. Um, how do you call them? Uh, I've got the Bella Seamer decoupage pads paper for this. So I decided to get this. This was on sale as well. I think it was like, it was really cheap. Six, six US dollar. So it comes with envelopes. There are six cards and six envelopes. And this is um, coordinating cards for Bella Seamer. I think it's more than six cards. Sorry, um, there are six cards. Six cards and envelopes. Uh, it looks like more than that. It looks like 12. Yeah, it's a 12 pack. Alright, so there are 12 actually. I guess six of each design. Um, sorry, two of each design, but six designs altogether. Sorry, I was a bit discombobulated. Okay, so um, really very nice uh, papers from there. I got this, I just can't resist it. I have the stamp set for this Sweet Paris. Sweet Paris. And oh this is pretty heavy actually. I think it's a little like instruction booklet on how to assemble. This is the 3D Eiffel Tower. You can actually stack it up and layer it. It's like super cool. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm gonna try it. Then I got Bell and Boo! Now I couldn't couldn't get the stamp sets because um Tracy ran out of them! Ah! But um, I'm, I'm hoping she comes in with more of those. I'm not sure if she will. But yeah, I got the 8x8 and uh, the designer paper and the decoupage pad. It's very strange, but uh huh. one of them looks bigger than the other, if you can see that. <laughs> I think it's because it's a tearaway. So um, it's very, very cute papers. As you can see, these are all decoupage um, images. I love the bunny. I love bunnies. So, yep. Uh, that's the decoupage paper. And this is a design pad. I have not opened it to have a look. So, I'm just going to open it now and show you what the papers are. Now, you can actually see the papers on the front here. Sorry. All the designs there, as you can see. But I'm just going to just give you a quick flip through. So there's this one, which is like really perfect for birthdays. Flower, floral theme. Balloons. Another floral theme, very retro stripes. This um, little like um, graph paper. More flowers. The bunny, which is so cute. This is Boo. And then there's the polka dots. Another one that's this is perfect actually for like a cooking theme as well. And it's pirates. So cute. I love this paper. It's nice. Very nice, sweet, and adorable. Okay, so Bell and Boo, yeah. There, and I bought this. Now, I really love to craft papers. That's why I'm willing to pay for them. So this is Nature's Gallery Ultimate Die Cut and Paper Pack. I have not opened this as well. So let me just show you what it looks like on the inside. I love the, um, sorry, do craft decoupage papers. They are just something that I can't resist. <laughs> I love making cards with them. So um, they're so easy. You just need to assemble it. So this is just a um, designer paper. You can actually cut them out as well. Very nice nature themed. Retro nature themed, sorry. I think it's a bit upside down. I have no idea why. Okay, never mind. So yeah, so we've got like all this. I hope you can see them. Sorry if it's a bit dark. Let me see if I can brighten it up a bit. I don't know whether it's that, that's better or the other was better. Never mind. So, yeah, all this. These are just designers, one sided designer paper. And then decoupage papers on the back. 
which is like a gorgeous so let me see these are borders so lovely borders okay um some cards and envelopes more envelopes and cards um tags envelopes okay more of them two and uh, some type tags as well and cutouts more envelopes these are different designs it's not too dark all right so more of this those are tags if I'm not wrong yeah tags you can use them like uh, to decorate the front of a uh, card simple 2d card more of this. this is really nice for a more serious retro style and some uh, sentiments here happy birthday to and from with love especially for you so we have got like two of those and some tags more tags okay and even more tags see what's this more tags and these are like like cut out into layers so you can actually layer them it's really cool yeah, and some more these are the um the kibosh, where you can actually start layering them to give you that tri three dimensional effect uh, for the birds and other stuff i love the birds and the butterflies they're so beautiful I really love this. The birds are just gorgeous. So there's two of each um, design. I won't show. Yeah, I just quickly show you the design. And then there's some alphas as well. These are stickers. Okay, and this is another sticker set. So there's two um, stickers as well as. papers very very nice very very um you know like vintage botanical kind of uh, style i love that so this is vintage botanical style so this is from art attack that's my haul from art attack sorry this is going to be a really long video because i've got like so many hauls together uh, I hope I can squeeze it all in one video. If not, I have to probably split it up. Then I got some moles. Um, the same shop that I got at Etsy. Uh, I can't remember the seller's name. I don't think I have a card. But um, I got some moles. And these are resin moles. Uh, UV resin moles. A teapot. Um, cat. Ray this is a deer. <laughs> it is so cute. Um, I'm definitely going to make some stuff to show you guys and butterfly so I, I really love the moles uh, um, these are the very nice moles that um, they have it's not cheap uh, local currency is probably about three dollars US three or four dollars US about there if I'm not wrong yeah each mold so this were from I think the not too shabby shop I showed before so what did I get today from Daiso, I bought a lot of stuff, but some of them were for my, my dad, some of them were for my niece, and I'm not going to show those things. So, I just got some toothpicks because uh, I, I need them to mix my glitter and stuff for my resin. I got some of these picks I couldn't resist. I just love, I, I just love this kind of picks. I have no idea why. I just love them. So this one is uh, French. It has got like these words like Sebon and Très Bien. I hope I pronounced that right. I just slaughtered. I think I probably slaughtered that. Okay, so I got this. I got this. Um, I saw uh, Amber from Lyric Lover. Um, she was like making um, some of those uh, stuff to sell at the craft fair. And um, I just wanted to get something like that and maybe make something like this for Christmas as small gifts um, for people, stocking stuffers or whatever you call them. So yeah, so they actually had cardstock craft paper sorry 
craft paper sticky notes. I was like, yay. So I just got this is Daiso, so it's like in the States would be a dollar fifty. Here it's two dollars. I got this. These are actually sticky um, tape ribbons. As you can see here, it's ribbon tape. And it's glittered. Um, so I thought this would be perfect for Christmas. I just got one. They had a few other colors, but I was trying not to buy too many things. Because um, yeah, my room is a mess right now. And I really need to organize it. I haven't been doing anything about organizing it. Um, you know, since I fell sick. So yeah, so I got this. I got some of, I got two of this. I'm not sure where the other one is. Never mind. Let me see if I can find it. So I got this nail art stuff. This art, I'm going to use it for resin. So in this one, I'm not sure if you can see because of the glare. There is um, cross, stars, and a crown. So it's really cool. It's for nail arts, but I think it's perfect to go in a resin mold. So I got this to wind my wires up because they were such a mess. So this is really cute. I like the dog, the cat, and the elephant. The other one was like crocodile, hippo, and something else. So I, I like this one a lot, so I got this. So I'm going to wind my wires around it. It's easier for me to, you know, manage and organize. I got a pack of this, um, 50 buttons. I don't really have a lot of buttons. I think I do, but I don't have, um, you know, like regular buttons. And these are like, just um, pattern kind of print. So I thought they were cute, and I got one. Yeah, 50, so it probably lasts me quite a while. I got some of these effects. So I got two of this. Because um, I used them up for uh, packing some goodies for my students. And I'm not sure if I have if I have any more, so I just stuck them up again. And I got this. This is really, really pretty. This one has got like a very classy black and white print. Um, and some, I think, French words on it. That's 24 for this one. This one is like 32. I got this one more for like, you know, other kinds of packaging like for racks and stuff. Then, uh, yeah, this is the other one for the nail art. So this one has got hearts, um, a sakura blossom and uh, a bow. Okay, so I got this one as well. This one says yum yum and yeah, it's 22 of this. And this one comes with little heart tags. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Let's see, when I was walking around, I just couldn't resist. I saw this. This is Amiel letter sets um, at Daiso as well. Really cool looking. I think it's nice. I might write something inside and uh, send it to somebody in a rack. And I got this. Oh, this is like just so cool. Okay, so I saw someone using this for resin, UV resin. So um, it's only $2. So I bought two colors, two different sets of colors. Um, the pinks, as you can see here. I hope it looks pink. And this one is like more um, metallic colors. The bronze, the gold, you know, the silver and all that. So I got this for resin. And the rest of the items are actually um, for my scrapbook shop. So I got some stamps. It's so cute. So I got this one from Lawn Fawn, which is the Made With Care. Oh snap! <laughs> then the other one, which is um, sorry, not maybe cat. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, oh snap! This one's oh snap. Look at the poor gingerbread man. He's so cute. And the alpaca. Cool. I'm sorry, but I can't resist alpacas. I love them. I have to show you my stuff toy later. Okay, so um, an alpaca. So yeah, this is really cute. Um, then I got some new plates for my big shot. Oh, I thought I might as well stock on this since um, it was on sale. And I got two of the Tim Holtz mini folders. I want to try them out. I've seen someone using them. Um, I bought myself an um, acrylic block. I think this is apple pie. I got a Mama Elephant stamp set, which is a sentiment. And I bought this acrylic block just for this. So I like it because it's a thank you. Congratulations, hello friend. I don't have many sentiment stamps and I like the long ones here. I've seen um, Jennifer McGuire use them in so many of her videos. Then um, I got this as well. Now I've seen the so Nina White. Uh, sorry, Solo White? Nina? Nina Solo White. 
um, sold at my scrapbook shop. It's, 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 it's incredible. Um, I thought I'll never be able to get that here. So, uh, but I saw this and I wanted the cardstock just for card bases. I'm not going to col copy color on it. So I thought this would be quite good just to make card bases. This is a 12 by 12 and there's 50 pieces for 10 bucks. It's like, what? why not? Okay, so I got those. Those are all my, um, that's my haul for today and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll probably be coming in another video with my some of the things I've been doing. Oh, sorry, let me just put this away. Let's put it away so it doesn't get in the way. I don't want it to get in the way. No, I'm, I'm gonna use this so I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna use this as well so I'm just gonna put everything else away and uh, I really get, need to get organized. Um, just very quickly to show you what I've been doing. Okay, not not much. Uh, I'm not sure how much the video is. Okay, it's almost half an hour. All right, but um, just a very quick, quick, hopefully very, very quick. Okay, okay where did my stuff go? Oh boy. Uh, all right, I wanted to show. You. Oh, okay, it's off on the side. So I, I used the 3D die that I got um, from Tracy's shop Art Attack. Uh, that's the waffle flower die and I made the 3D um, diamonds using this gold paper. Now, the problem with this gold paper is it tends to become distressed. Okay, so it doesn't give you a nice finish but yeah, so this is what I did. I actually embossed the word you're, ge you're a gem on the black cardstock okay and this is really heavy duty medium weight i think cardstock and then i used um there were two embossing powders i had and they were both ranger i think one is uh one was uh, silver and the other one was platinum so you can see one is silver and one is platinum they look the same but they are not so um i'm making this for my students and in the meantime, I was like wondering whether I should keep folding and folding all these diamonds. And I went to make some UV resin type diamonds. So, um, gems actually, sorry. So, there were a couple here that I made. Uh, some of them I'm really, really happy with. Now, I just uh, have to show you this one. Let me just bring this up. I'm just going to leave it on the paper because um, it's easier to see. So let me just show you. I really like the effect that I had for this one. If you can see it clearly, sorry, the lighting is really bad. Okay, so you can see that it's like darker. Yeah, you can't see it on my hand. Darker on the outside and a little bit lighter on the inside. So it's got this graduate, graduated appearance. Let me see if I can uh, on the lights and see if that looks better. Nah, it's worse. Okay, maybe if I bring it closer. Yeah, if I bring it closer, you can see it more clearly. So you can see that some of them, like this ones, have that graduated look. The others are solid, um, like uh, colors with glitter. Yeah, I was trying out different molds. So I'm um, sorry. So when I tried out the different molds, um, the pink ones that you saw me um, that I just purchased were all right. The um, particle molds meant for UV resin were better. But the Mod Podge molds don't work that well. So try to go for molds that are shallow if you plan to use UV resin. It is really, really fast. You don't have to wait a whole 24 hours or two to three days for your, for your resin to harden. It's just a couple of minutes. Uh, or you can actually buy um, the Quick Set resin that they have amazing crafts, I think craft resin yeah so yep so so these are some of the gems that I've been making they don't look so nice um, because the lighting is really bad here now yeah so yeah so that's what I've been up to and I've actually made uh, yeah I think I should this yeah so these are some of the things I've been making I'm planning to do more stuff more stuff so we'll see and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you around bye bye